we get ready for the U.S. debut of Amado Vargas. As we break down the numbers, you see that Amado Vargas is four years younger than his adversary here tonight, Anel Dudo, and getting set for our opening matchup. As you see that the height is identical, a slight reach advantage in favor of Amado Vargas. This one in the super featherweight division. So it's the U.S. debut of Amado El Malvado, the evil one of Vargas. He gets ready to take on Anel Dudo. With that being said, if we could set it up to our ring announcer, the always dapper dressed, here is Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Kia Forum, Inglewood, California, as Triller Fight Club presents Trillerverse 5, Lineage of Greatness, sponsored by Power of Chi, the movie. Tonight's bouts are being sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commission Chair is Peter Villegas. Executive Officer is Andy Foster. We start the action with this bout. Set for four rounds in the featherweight division. Our judges scoring at ringside are A. Belardo, Ralph McKnight, and Jack Reese. At the sound of the bell, the man in charge of the action is referee Jose Cobian. Presenting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue with gold trim on the scale. He registered an official 128 and one half pounds tonight. This battle-tested veteran enters the Triller Fight Club ring with one victory, three losses, that lone victory coming by way of KO. Fighting out of the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, the silent assassin, Anel Dudo. Standing across the ring in the red corner, wearing black with gold and purple trim, he weighed in officially at 130 and one half pounds. The blood of a former Olympian, former multiple world champion, and one of the baddest battles ever to lace him up courses through his veins tonight. He puts his undefeated record on the line with three victories. Two of those victories coming by way of KO. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Amado el malvado, Vargas. We're not going to start until the doctor's here. You've been given instructions, protect yourself at all time. Come back with the bell. Mouth PC, seconds out. No, we're not going to start. I already told him now. So as you're seeing Amado Vargas getting set to match up against Anel Dudo, we have a little bit of pause as you see Amado Vargas ready to go. Anel Dudo, who is looking to play spoiler in the professional debut of Amado Vargas. And there is a currently a delay. Why? Because the ringside physicians have just entered the arena here at the legendary Kia Forum. So, Sean, there needs to be ringside physicians in place. They just walk into the okay. building, but there is a momentary slight pause. How does that affect Ready? the mental psyche of the fighters? Well, this is the part of boxing oh. that no, not too many people understand. And as we can see, the fighters on this way. Technically, it's not supposed to be. However, things happen. Let's go ahead and commentate this bad boy. Absolutely. As you see, a nice right hand to start off for Amado Vargas. And credit to everyone involved for making sure that there was only a 20-second delay, if that, AC. I mean, hey, look, he came out and looking hungry. That O got to go, but he ain't trying to hit that. No, we're not surprised at what's going on right now. Of course, we expected him to, to outmatch his, his opponent, but beyond that, he's given us exactly what we expected he's to see going to the body along with the pressure. Absolutely, and you see right now Amado Vargas unloading upon Anel Dudo here in this first round. Barely 45 seconds in, and Amado Vargas is coming right at Dudo. First of all, don't forget that Amado's just coming out of the amateur program, so he's going to start fast. He saw immediately that his guy can't handle his pressure, can't handle the punching, the punch output, and that's why he continued to step to, uh, he's continuing to step towards uh, Dudo. So the last time we saw Mago Vargas was July of last year, a third round TKO over Fernando de la Cruz. And you hear this large reception in favor of Amado Vargas, AC. Look, Amado's setting the tempo. Look, he's got him up against the ropes. He's pouring it on. 
This is what we want to see. Great body shot right there. That left hook to the body right there to the liver is, is a great hook to the body right there. You see him? Woo! He's continuing to go to it. That double left hook to the body is certainly something that has backed up Anel Dudo. Dudo, 24 years of age, a four-fight veteran. And also, let's get this clear. A lot of people talk about a fill-out round. This is how Amado is choosing to fill out his opponent, by stepping to him and by digging, finding the openings. And you see now we're uh, two minutes in, and now Amado is starting to slow it down because he's felt out his opponent, and he knows what's going to land and what's not. Now he's just going to find it and go for it. Hey, see, we're seeing El Malvado, the evil one, display his bad intentions here tonight. Hey, look, he calls himself the evil one. Now it's time to show it, and he's doing it with them body blows. He's already connected with him early in the fight. It's going to be a long fight for Dudo if he keeps beating that body like that. What is that the garbanzo beans what you say? That's the garbanzo beans in a bread basket. That's what that's called right there. Soften them up, make them drop them hands. I don't, I don't eat garbanzo beans. <laughs> hey, well, Dudo just put a hand, he put his arms up as and say, is that all you got? Come on, come forward. He's almost trying to bait him in. Okay, now Dudo's moving forward. Okay. Well, guess what? We knew this about Dudo. We knew that Dudo is, uh, he comes from a, a MMA background. He's also done Muay Thai. So, a little surprised to see him stay on the ropes as much as he was this first round, but to turn the tables now at this point, there's no surprise. Right there landing the good right hand. That's the end of round one. Well, listen, I'm keep on being busy with your punches. How do you feel? Good. Okay, listen to me. Keep touching, keep touching, and then rip. Don't throw everything hard, or else you're gonna gas out, right? All right, I don't want you to even keep your guard tight, and every time he throws a wide hook, counter with a tighter hook. He, he's wide open, he's playing with his mouthpiece. You hit him one time, that mouthpiece is going to fly. Okay. Get that. Straight punches. Yes, and your fucking hooks, and your body shots. Counter, every time he touches you, counter that shit. Take a look at some of the action. Yeah, right here, we just see, we see Armando trying to find it. Two, uh, three uppercuts to the to the head, and now he's just gonna continue working those uppercuts. I think that that's what he thought he would have the success up the middle of the, of the, of the gloves of Dudo. Also, it's interesting that I find it that both Amado and Emiliano, their middle names are Fernando. As a, they're all named after their father. What a tribute. What about that, AC? Hey, hey, look, what about Fernando Jr.? Is he Fernando Fernando? I don't know. <laughs> well, I know right now that Amado's hammering away on the body of uh, Anel Dudo coming forward. The Vargas family dynasty starting off tonight with the middle one, the 21-year-old Amado Vargas, making his U.S. debut here tonight. Well, Dudo's not backing down. You can tell from his background, MMA and... He's not afraid to get hit. So he was hit early on, but he's still moving forward, which is a good thing. He actually sparred Shakur Stevenson a little bit, did yeah. Anel Dudo, so that's yeah. quality work. Yeah, and then also just seeing him, he switched to southpaw momentarily. He, uh, I, I wouldn't say he had success, but I thought we would see him this round as southpaw. There, there's the there's switch again. So what's he going to do when he, when he switches up? He's a switch hitter, but... Got to be careful with that. And, and let's bottom line this. Dudo is here to challenge yeah. Amado. He's here to take Amado two or three rounds. Amado's been, he's been very successful. 3 0 two knockouts. As we see right here, the power is getting the best of Dudo. But Dudo's coming in here and he's doing his job correctly by challenging Amado. And he is a very busy man. Fernando Vargas Sr., the first of three corner opportunities for him as he will be in the corner of every one of his sons. A uh, left hook to the body, body ripping shot, shot by keep Vargas. Boxing, keep boxing. Beautiful boxing. Good. Step to your left, it's softball. Good. Step to your left, it's softball. And there's the switch again by Dudo. Put your foot and the then the switch right back. Put your foot in the switch right back. What did you take away from the instructions of Vargas? I think what what, what Dad is saying, what Senior is saying is, is, is find your, your spots, your shots and your spots, and take your time. Be patient. You know, I think that right now, uh, while, of course, Amado's getting the best of Dudo, I think that it could be some wasted punches, it could be some wasted movement, and he should be looking for more openings opposed to just throwing punches. Hey, see, what do you see out of the 21-year-old? Hey, look, he looks good. He's being active. You know he hears his father's voice over the whole crowd. He can hear what he's saying. He's being active. He's not backing down. 
He has to go back to that body. And better defense. He's got to get his hands up. You got to keep them hands and up. He's, man. And he's got to be able to move and use the entire ring. I've seen him do that in training. It's time to put that to work in, on fight night. That's yeah. right. Don't get lazy. Get lazy, you drop those hands. Dudo's gonna, he's gonna capitalize on that. And now, AC said he didn't know nothing about boxing. <laughs> but that's what I see right now from, from Amado. A little lazy with the defense. Of course, we see offensively, he's not being lazy, but defensively, bringing his hands back, defensively, moving his head, and doing the right things defensively, he's not doing this. That's partly part laziness and also the moment. And here's some of the work from the second round from Amado Vargas. To AC's point, no, you're not being lazy offensively, but that right there. Why did you throw your punch and not bring your hand back? You're too late by bringing him back now. You got to bring him back as soon as you release him. You know, so we see the youth in the kid. You know, he's a little wild with the shots, a little wide with the shots, but it's working, and I think it'll it'll get him through this fight. But that comes with experience, oh, Absolutely. Sooner or later, you drop your hands, you start eating them in your jaw, and you're going to realize, let me snap my hand back. <laughs> Come on now. Yep. Hey, see, you know something about boxing. <laughs> but I think him being a little bit more wild and erratic, I think that fits his personality. He's known as the evil one. The one thing that Fernando Vargas Sr. said, as we saw in the Vargas family dynasty, the social media, the YouTube show on Triller Fight Club's YouTube page, is that he's the one the more of the bigger personality. He's the one that'll take risks. Yeah. And you're yeah. seeing that inside the ring. His personality similar to that of what he does inside the ring. Well, guess what? It looks like he can listen. Dad told him to use the use the ring, box this kid, and don't take those wild, wild, wild crazy, evilish chances, you know? And so now we see a model, the adjustment he's made by using the ring, circling, and just using the jab. Sometimes that's all you need. So we have our unofficial score all night long. The always intelligent Sean Wheeler. Like, how do you have the fight through two, Sean? Ray, two rounds to none, Amado Vargas. 2018, and El Dudo and Showtime, Sean, you mentioned his Muay Thai background. He's coming straight forward on a straight line like a Muay Thai fighter. He's landing some counters, but you see the volume and especially those body punches from Vargas, it's clear cut for me. Yeah. Thank I, you very much, and I agree with Sean Wheelock. Yeah, I agree with Sean as well. Uh, I think the number one thing that, that Sean said is uh, Dudo's coming straight forward. When you got a guy coming straight forward, just like this right here, circle, right, use your right. feet. Use your athleticism. You are superior to this guy, both with the hands and the feet. Use it to your advantage and make it through this fight safely with the win. Big body shots by Amado Vargas. He's starting to pick it up and backing away is Dudo for the first time in about a round. Yeah, you got to go back to the body. That's what was working. He went away for it for a little while. That's it. Look. Look at this, and Dudo is like, okay, is that all you got? Sean, could that be an indication that he might have been hurt? No, I, I actually don't think so. Uh, let's not forget what Dudo told us in, in, uh, in the fighter meeting. He did what's called a King of Sparta. That's three fights in one night. Yes, he did. So when you see this guy saying, hey, come on, bring it. No, he's serious. Like, come on, bring it. <laughs> well, what we mean by that is that he fought a boxing match, an MMA match, and a Muay Thai fight. Yeah. So he had all those in one night in Colorado. I go, that was a lot. He goes, yeah, they signed off on it. Be that as it may, that's what occurred. <laughs> that's all in one night. Yeah, he's different. Dudo's different. You got to respect him. Yeah, he's so a fighter. Exactly. And Dudo's different. Understand that coming to the ring, use your jab. Use your, your, the basics of boxing to fight this guy who does not is, does not have the kind of skill that you have if you're Armando Vargas in the Vargas camp. And Sean, I was actually on stage during the weigh-in. They had a very contentious weigh-in where they were jaw jacking between each other. Yeah, because you know everybody's aiming for that name. You know what I mean? So uh, it doesn't matter who you match these Vargas kids up with. They're always going to get the best of their opponent. Round four on the way. Okay, keep on boxing, all right? You're winning the fight 2-0, easy, all right? You got two more rounds. 
Kimse bu şey yok. And coming up later tonight, it'll be Cypress Hill and Onyx. You got East Coast, you got West Coast, you got the four. I'm AC doesn't get any better. It gets no better than that, man. These are two legendary groups. Onyx, Southside Queens, Cypress Hill from Cali. They made their mark on the hip-hop game, and these are the roots of where the culture comes from. Yeah, man, I was a kid yeah, watching those guys. Yeah. Being in the same room, the room you with them yesterday was you crazy mind-blowing for me. And this is just the free view. If you want to see Cypress Hill and Onyx along with Outstanding Boxing, you can go ahead and join us on the pay-per-view coming up in just under two hours. And one thing I find, guys, as we enter the fourth round is Fernando Vargas Sr. has told us from all of his sons, they, their mindset is primero inteligente y ahora valiente. Tell so them what first, that means. intelligence and then be brave. So use your boxing skill yeah. and then go in yeah. and try to finish off the fight. Yeah, but guess what? Eight ounce gloves, no headgear, the shirts are off. The women are out, you know what I mean? There's so many things that go into it. Sometimes you forget about that saying, and it's gonna take some time for all of these young men, we'll see them all tonight, for them to grow into that saying and put that before their pride, put that before the crowd, put that before the moment. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be somewhere on their gym, but look at Amato go coming forward, look at him coming away on Dudo as the fans come to their feet here at the floor. He knows this is the final round. He's trying to make his mark. He's trying to put him out. You can tell he wants to put him out. He wants to put him to bed. Sean, what are your thoughts on a, when a young fighter tries to go out there and try to impress the fans and get the finish? Well, it's better for him to do this now, early in his career. This is his fourth fight, opposed to not having experienced this right here. There's a little bit of adversity here for, for Amado. Experiences now, we, we'll never see him fight like this again. I promise you. I'll say this, he is very entertaining. Amado Vargas goes out there and, you know, he's throwing wicked shots and trying to hit you from a variety of angles. Yeah, and I was going to say, not to say he's boxing bad, but there's a much better version of Amado that we have that we are not seeing tonight. Yeah, but we spoke about this, Sean. We have to see these kids under adversity. Yeah. You know, you get those easy wins in the amateurs, but now you have to face adversity. Now we're going to see what they're made of. And I feel like he's still fighting and he's doing a good job. Well, I've seen a maturation from him as the fight progresses. He's starting to double up on his jab. He's not taking as many risks, staying in the pocket as long, and he's really being selective on when he throws. The, the ref is going to take a point. One point, Robro. There you go. Yeah, One point, Robro. Yeah. One but point, there, but there was no, There's no warning. There was no break. You're hitting low. I'm going to take a point if you do it again. See, I don't agree with that point deduction. Sean Wheelock, do you agree with that? Ray, I do, actually. Jose Cobion gave a soft warning to Amado Vargas. It's silent, soft, hard, and point. That was a soft warning, say, watch it. A hard warning is saying, next time it's a point. It wasn't that dramatic from Cobion, but Vargas has continually been warned softly, silently, and now the point since round number one on those low blows. See, that's why we got Sean Wheelock in the building, because he picks up on these nuances. Silent warning, loud warnings. I mean, he had that down to a T, Sean. I don't agree with Sean with that. You know, like, how do you give a, a silent warning? You can't, you can't, tell, you can't <laughs> tell me something without saying it, and then look at me and say I'm taking a point. Showtime, Sean, a silent warning is a very direct stare. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, folks, with that. Oh, look at this action, though. Oh, man. Man, that's the way to end the fight. Amado Vargas and El Dudo, even with the silent song, hard warning, doesn't matter. We saw hard punches being thrown all night long from Amado Vargas. What a moment for him. U.S. debut, L.A. with your father. Look at that. He actually used to come on yeah. his handler's <laughs> shoulders before his dad would fight the likes of Trinidad and Winky Wright. And now he's on his the shoulders of his dad when he just fought his youth debut. Buddy. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, dad put him down, proud. Dad. Put him down. Yeah. You, you, you're a little over that. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on the performance of one Amado Vargas? Showtime, I'll start with you. Oh, you know, I am I'm happy for his performance. Uh, again, not the sharpest Amado Vargas that I've seen. I've seen him in the gym, uh, never in a fight, but not the sharpest that I've seen. 
And I know that he'll be much better his next time out. And again, not to say that he, he fought bad. Uh, I thought he won, he won this com very convincingly. But uh, I think we'll see a better Vargas moving forward. So how can the judges have this scored? Sean Wheelock, give me your scorecard. 39-36, Amato Vargas. So for me, he won all four rounds. I gave him the fourth round, but the one-point deduction means a 9-9. Rounds one, two, and three. Clean cut, 10-9 for Amato Vargas, 39-36. So nearly a perfect scorecard for Amato Vargas, with the exception of that point deduction. AC, your thoughts? I mean, Sean's always on the money. I see, I see Amato as being, you know, he looked good being a body puncher, and he has to tighten some things up, but he could develop into that kind of fighter. He could be that punishing the body kind of puncher. And this right here, this is who Amato Vargas is. He's always going to give us all he's got. He's going to keep punching to the end of the fight. And as he said to us, he, he prides himself on his conditioning and hard work. That's what we saw in this fight from him. So let's see how the judges have this one scored. Will Amado Vargas remain undefeated? We send it up to our ring announcer here is Lupe Contreras. After going to distance inside the Triller Fight Club ring, we consult the official scorecard to determine a winner. All three judges are in complete agreement, turning in identical scores of 39 to 36. In favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Still undefeated, El Malvado, Amado Vargas. Yeah. So Amado Vargas remains undefeated as he elevates his record to 4 0, making his U.S. a successful one. There you see. Amado Vargas, as the scorecards we all thought were going to be exactly that. Sean, your thoughts on the scorecards? I thought they were very accurate, with the exception of that point deduction that I didn't agree with from the referee. And, and shout out to Sean Wheelock. I, I agree with the scorecards as well. Uh, great performance uh, by Amado Vargas. He will get better in the future. Uh, he's just got to get those uh, kinks out. And Amado Vargas remains undefeated here tonight at the legendary Kia Forum. As we take a look at our punch stats, you see the 77 punches landed in accurate accuracy of 20%. And Sean, I mean, he went out there, he threw a lot of punches. One thing about Amado Vargas is that he was very busy, without a doubt. Very busy. Uh, again, that's who he is as a fighter. He's a hard worker, uh, very athletic. I don't think we saw the, the athleticism tonight. But he's, he's going to be relentless. That's just who he is as a person. Uh, El Amado, 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 say, yes. Amado, El Amado, uh, he's, he's going to be evil. He's going to be vicious every time he goes out. So Amado Vargas, we're going to go ahead and grab him momentarily and have a conversation with Amado Vargas. And here we are with the undefeated as he takes a look at the number 77 punches landed. Ray Flores alongside the victorious Amado Vargas and Showtime Sean Porter. Amado, congratulations on the win and give us your thoughts. What does this mean for you to remain undefeated making your U.S. debut? You know, first off, I want to thank God. I want to thank my team. My father, man, he helped me prepare 120% for this fight. And I just want to say thank you to my, to my dad. I have a great management. Shout out to Eggies and Jose De La Cruz. I got beautiful fans all around you that came and supported me. I'm so happy, I'm so thankful for you beautiful people coming out, support. Raza, stand up, we in the building. Shout out to Triller Fight Club, man. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that came out, that bought a ticket, and uh, that are coming to watch the Vargas Dynasty. It means everything to me, and I know my dad's proud, and I just wanna thank my dad. Thank you for getting me ready, Pop. I love you. Let's get it. Now let's watch, now let's watch my brother, Junior. He's up next, let's get it. Go ahead, Showtime. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got one more for you. Because uh, I, I know you much better than everybody saw here tonight. I think that you're a much better fighter than you, than you showed tonight. Thank you. What, in the corner, how, how was everything in the corner? How did you feel round by round? And, and how do you grade your performance tonight? Uh, man, I, uh, I don't say it's a 10. I wanted to knock him out. But the dude has never been knocked out before. He, uh, I did the four rounds. And uh, I, did, I just listened to my dad, man. Everything that my dad told me to do, he just told me to keep boxing, look smart in there. And that's what I did. If the knockout presented itself, it presented itself. But if not, we're going to continue to just keep boxing. 
Before we let you guys go, Pops, Fernando Sr., what were your thoughts on your son's performance here tonight? Well, it was a great, great, great fight for him, you know what I mean? Because it's a learning fight. You know, all fights are learning fights, but this is more of what I wanted to see technique. I wanted to see him not get caught with counters. And he was doing that. He was going to the body, moving his head beautifully. So I'm happy with this performance. Tell, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Tell sorry. everybody what happens after tonight, because I think that uh, you guys are a work in progress. Yes. What, what's, what does this night do for you? Is it, is it back to the drawing board? No, is it, no, no. We continue to keep on working. Yeah. Was, you know, this is, this is only his fourth fight. And, um, you know, he's, he's still growing as a fighter. He started late, and so did Junior. You know, the only one that, 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 that has a lot of amateur pedigree is Emiliano because he started at 10 years old. I started at 12, so he has two years on me. <laughs> so, so, you know, at the end of the day, I'm happy with what he did today. He did what he needed to do against a fighter that he needed to do it with, and that's what we're here. Amado Vargas remains undefeated at 4-0, victorious with Fernando Sr. in the corner.